Hello everyone. In this video, I want to discuss the definitions of topological space. Right in the beginning, I'm going to give you definition of what is a topology, and then I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So, if you want to talk about topological space, first we need to talk about sets. And we want to talk about non-empty set. And then we know if we have a non-empty set or empty set, but in this case we consider only one case, then we can consider the power set of x. And the power set of x is going to be set itself, and by definition is going to be all elements a, but what is my a in this case? My a is going to be just a subset of x. So let me give you a small, uh, really short example. So let's say we have a set x of these two elements. And you can check really fast what is your p of x. We can see that we have uh, two subsets a and b. Also, we can take as a subset which includes two elements a and b. And again, since this is a set, an empty set is a subset of any set, then also empty set is a subset of x. So this is one of the examples how we can find the power set. So for any set, we can find the power set. And then after we have the power set, we can define topology. And we're going to define topology tau for corresponding set x. So we're saying that tau of x is a topology if first my tau is going to be subset of subsets of x. Or in other words, my tau is a subset of p of x. And not only my tau is a subset of p of x, I also want to have a couple of kind of condition. I want to know how my elements in my uh, topology uh, behaves uh, corresponding to each other. So my first condition of some subset of a power set to be a topology is the empty set and my set uh, itself belongs to topology. So when I choose my elements from my power set, I want to include at least two elements, empty set and x. My second uh, condition, uh, let's take some elements like AIs uh, in my topology. And I want to make sure that any union of AIs going to belong to my topology. So from here follows that any union of AIs belongs to topology. And my third condition is, I want to take the same AIs, but instead of taking the union, I'm saying that only finite intersection of my elements of AIs belongs to topology. Uh, and explanation about why we take only finite intersection I'm going to give you in the end of this video. Okay, so this is definition of topology of a given set X. And then since we're talking about topological space, let me just show what is topological space. If you take our set X and for the given X you find your topology, then the pair of x and tau is going to be called uh, a topological space. So topological space is this non-empty set with its topology. Okay, and this is definition of topology. And you can think this is like abstract nonsense, so let me show you uh, like three really simple examples. Let's start with the first example. And the first example, let's take any set, non-empty set x, and we consider the all possible subsets. So let's take our topology B consists of just two elements. And these two elements are going to be empty set and X. And our goal, let's show that X tau is topological space. Or in other words, we want to show that tau is topology. But for this, we just need to check these three conditions. So let's check these three conditions. Condition number one, we want to empty set that x belongs to topology. But this is trivial, empty set and x belong. So we got our first condition, condition checked. 
for our second condition, we want to have any union of our elements. Topology belongs to topology. But what all possible unions do we have? We have empty set union. Empty set is empty set uh, belongs to topology. Union of empty set and X is X belongs. X union X belongs. So for this, we also have check. And the third one, uh, the final intersection. But again, if I will take the empty set intersect, X is going to give empty set. So since I have two elements, uh, I always can, uh, I always want to get one of this element. So my finite intersection of my elements also belongs to X. So three axioms uh, are checked. So from here follows that tau is topology. And X tau is topological space. So we can see that any space, uh, sorry, any set, non empty set, can be made into topological space. Okay, this is not an interesting example, so it's one of the way how we can define topology. Let me show you a second example. So in this case, we took the smallest topology, so we took just two elements. But what if we're gonna take our subset to be the whole power set? And actually, when it's gonna be the whole power set, it's also, it's also gonna be a topology. Okay, so let's check this. My first axiom, again, since empty set and x are subset of x, that they belong to the power set. So from here, for and since my power set equals topology, it follows that uh, empty set and x inside my topology. So check. A little bit interesting one is second condition. So I want to show that if I will take any elements AI in my topology, then union of these AIs also belongs to the topology. But let's kind of, this is my, I want to show this direction, so let's go around. And how are we going to go around? Uh, since AI belongs to uh, my topology, then I know that AI is uh, going to be subset of X. Why? Because topology is a subset of P of X. So all elements of topology are subset of my original space. But if I will take any collection of subsets of X, from here follows that union of my subset of X is also subset of X. But by definition of the power set, it means that this element belongs to the power set. And since my power set equals to my topology, it means this element belongs to topology. So our second condition check. And third condition, you can check really easily that by taking uh, any element, say i, and taking the finite intersection, they're all also going to belong to my topology. So this is also checked. And in this case, this topology is called uh, discrete topology. Okay, so let me uh, mention one thing. So all sets that belong to my topology are called open sets. So if your element belongs to your topology, you will gonna call this set to be open. For example, in this case, uh, no, I'm gonna show you the next example. So let me show you example number three. So let's take some interesting example. And let's take my set X equals to three elements, A, B, and C. Then you can check that your P of X are going to be empty set, uh, all single elements, and then uh, pairs, and the whole set itself. So I'll we'll get, so I will get exactly eight elements. So we'll have four and four. Okay. And this is a little bit interesting because right now I have, I, if I want to make a, is, uh, this space to be a topological space, I need to choose some subset um, of this power set. So let's do this. Let's take T1, uh, like tau1. And we know by definition of the topology, I need to have empty set and x itself here. So let's take 
empty set and all set itself A, B, and C, and here. Okay? Yes. And then what can I do? Let's take some other element. And let's take element, for example, like AC. And let's check, uh, is this AC, is it topology? So first condition is true that empty set and A, B, and set itself X belongs to my topology, so check. Second axiom, if you will take union of uh, empty set and A, B, C, and uh, empty set and A, C, and A, B, C with A, C, so we can check if you will take all possible combination, is it also going to belong to this topology, T1? So also check. And three, if you will take um, any intersections, you can also check that it's going to belong to my topology. So from here follows that tau uh, 1 is topology. OK. But let's change it a little bit. So let's do tau 2. And let's take, instead of AC, let's take two elements. Let's take element A and element B. OK, is this a topology? Let's check. If we have an empty set and set itself, the first one, check. But what about my second one? For second one, you said, like, if you take any two uh, elements of your topology, the union must belong to a topology. Let's take A, union B, and there are both two elements. And from here, I get that I have a subset of X of AB. But from here, you can see that this subset doesn't belong to T2. So it means this your T2 is not a topology. So what can we do? We can do, we can fix it by just adding this element AB into my topology. So from here, what I will get right now, my set AB belongs to topology. And you can check that any union of all these elements of your tau2 when it belongs to tau2. And the same way you can check that intersection of all these elements is going to be belong to tau2. So all this stuff, all this action is going to be checked. So tau2 is going to be a topology. And let's discuss uh, about openness, that open sets. We can see in this case, in my tau2, I have that these five elements. So all these five elements are called open. And what elements, uh, which elements called closed? C, AC, and what else? AB and BC. And why is it called closed? Because all these three elements, they don't belong to my topology. So these were like basic definitions of topology, and in the end, I promise you to explain why we need to take this to be a fine intersection. In my next video, I'm going to show you uh, how we can define topology on the real line. And the idea is that if you have a real line, that element of uh, your topology can define to be the open intervals. So what's going to happen if I will get, uh, if I will take the fine intersection of the open intervals? And I'm going to find to take such intersections that I will make my open interval smaller, smaller, and smaller. So you can see, if you will intersect all these open intervals, you will get this interval. And this interval is going to be open. But if you will take the infinite, like countable intersection of open intervals, then you can check by doing this infinitely many times, your result of intersection of this all interval is going to be a point. But point will not uh, is, doesn't belong to your topology because point is not an open interval. Why? Because you define as open interval if you will take any points, you will take small neighborhood, and this uh, small neighborhood belongs to the whole thing. But when you have a point and you will take some neighborhood, this neighborhood doesn't belong to a point because point is just one element. And that's why if you want to define uh, topology on a real line, we need to have this condition. So basically the idea is that the, the definition of topology comes from analysis and analysis deal with real lines and this is why we have the following definition. So it's just generalization of analysis into more abstract spaces. 
Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions, and bye bye.